AMT Earl's 1939 Ford coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, everybody. It's your old friend Trevor Ursulescu coming back to you again from Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. And thank you for watching this continuing series on What's in the Box of Model Cars. And tonight I've got a special treat. This is the last box in our 1930s series. It is the 1939 Ford, and you can check out that cool aerodynamic styling. Now this is a neat retro kit. Come back again, making the comeback from AMT Ertl, round two, I believe. And now let's go down to our table and open up the lid on it. And now we come to review our last car in our 1930s series, the 39 Ford two-door sedan. Now this kit is an AMT Ertl kit that was also introduced by Stevens International, special edition. This is a reprint of the 70s Street Rod series. And you can actually build this car one of three ways, stock, custom, or drag. You can also build it as a 1940 Ford two-door sedan. They give you those options as well as two different hood choices. So let's open the lid on this baby and see what's inside. And right away we're confronted with the nice instruction sheet. And hopefully there's decals inside, which I believe are right here. <laughs> so we have some bullet holes and pizza shack and a bunch of strange things. The GNU's letter, which is actually one of Stevens International's newsletter. Uh, Monster Hobbies deals with Stevens International. It's a hobby wholesaler group out of the States. So getting back to our instructions, this nice wonderful art. And when I was young I built a whole series of these 39 Fords and 40 Fords. They are great kits. This one comes with the Oldsmobile engine, which you can see right there. And you can build that as, it, yeah, it's a 303 Oldsmobile engine. You can build it as drag or custom. This is one of the only Oldsmobile engines in the series of AMT kits, with the hot rod versions. And it also has those pins that are interchangeable with the 37 or 32 Fords, 36 Fords, and 40 Fords. You get a great selection of wheels. You get a raised and lowered front axle. You get two different license plates, one stamped 39 and one stamped 40. Um, side windows. And great interior. But here on the back is all the options for how you can build these cars. And some of them will have the 39 Ford Deluxe version the 44 Deluxe version, all these different versions that show you where which taillights go where, how to cut the knife open to build your bigger fender wells, and all sorts of great things. And now we'll look at the chrome. Excuse the writing on the bag. That's your 39 Ford grill, and there's your 40 Ford grill. And then you get these Krager mags in there, very 60s, 70s type of look. And of course the bumperettes, which were popular in 60s customizing. Everything is nicely bagged. Here's your body. Hm. Fenders and interior, which I should open up. Now they give you this fender arrangement for your 39 grill to fit in, but there is a little plastic plug somewhere in here that allows you to change that to the 40 grill because the 40 grill was much narrower. 
here is the blanked out version of the grill for you doing your hot rod. Two different hoods. One is narrower for the 40 Ford and one is wider for the 39 Ford insert. Or the 40 Standard and the 40 Deluxe because Ford in this era used last year's Deluxe model as this year's standard model. So the 38 Ford would or the 39 Ford, the standard one would be the 38 Ford with some modern equipment and the Deluxe would be the one that was shown on the box. And here we have the tires. You actually get uh, three sets of tires. You get the big drag ones, you get the custom tires, and you also should get the original Firestone skinnies, which you would have to paint your own white walls if you want white walls. And that brings us to the end of the review for the 39 Ford model kit. Well, we hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we looked at our 39 Ford. And if you would like to join us for our next series, we're going to start looking at the 1940s. However, if you have missed some of our earlier videos, please check them out here here and here and don't forget to subscribe to us right down here so we can continue our educational series of what's in the box and until next time keep dancing to swing music because it is the 30s and 40s